start it. Okay, there you go. Alright, welcome back. Sales training with Spence, day number five, where we turn novices into experts, experts into closing beast, sellers into goddamn closing machines. Alright, so today, sales training with Spence, we're talking about the action threshold. If you don't know what the action threshold is, then why are you even in sales? You know what I mean? You, you need to know this stuff, man. You need to watch sales training with Spence. As well, you haven't picked up this book yet. This isn't a sales pitch here, this is just something you need, man. This is The Closed Seven Level Selling, Stefan Arneo. StefanArneo.com forward slash The Closed Seven Level Selling. Like I said, it's not a pitch. This is what you need, man. This, you need this. Anyways, the action threshold. So in every single sales situation, whether it's a meeting in person, whether it's a cold call, whether it's a lead that you're giving a call, your prospect is gonna have two movies playing through their head. All right, they're gonna have, where's my mark? They're gonna have the positive movies. This is them thinking of the benefits, the wonderful stories, the wonderful things that will happen to them in the future if they go with you and take your service, take your product. They are also, on the other hand, gonna have a parallel negative story playing through their head. In a lot of people, the negative story is a lot stronger because they think of the pain that's gonna to happen to them in the future if they lose, or if the product you sold them isn't as great as you said it is, and of course this comes with risk. They, the risk, the pain, this is gonna be a lot stronger to them than the benefits and the wonderful story that will happen in the future if they buy your product. And this is why you need to learn how to decrease their negatives, decrease their negative thoughts, while well, at the same time increasing their positive thoughts. So hopefully by the end of the sales cycle, all they're seeing is the benefits and the wonderful future they, had ha they have ahead of them instead of feeling this risk and this pain that isn't even actually there. So ways that you can determine this when talking to somebody on the phone is you can ask them or you can tell them what the best case is gonna be and you can tell them what the worst case is gonna be one of the ways we do it here in our script would be in our rebuttals when what is the worst say we're selling them a bundle and we're like come on man is, is $199 really going to put you in the poor boat here if if the product isn't as good as we say it is and you buy it and say you lose $199 is this really going to ruin your whole life are you are you ruined or you need to go on welfare now and move to a group home no obviously not that is minimizing the worst case. The worst case all of a sudden doesn't seem as bad anymore. You're like, oh, true, yeah, 199 bucks I've lost. I've probably lost that a million times in my life. I can do it again. But then that's when you come in with what is the best case and make this even stronger than the worst case. You minimize the worst case already, so let's maximize the best case. But say I was working with you for the last couple months and I was making you $30,000 per deal in real estate and helping you raise upwards of $1 million in capital, towards your real estate career. All of a sudden, their worst case losing 200 bucks and their best case making $1 million, it just puts it in perspective for them. Their worst case, it's not bad anymore, man. Take that out of the picture. Their best case, now that's all they're thinking about. They heard 1 million. Damn, I want 1 million. You know what I mean? It, it's, now they're focused on their best case. You minimize their negatives and you increase their positives by an exponential amount. So here, are four ways I wrote out you can use to decrease the negatives, increase the positives. If this doesn't work out or, or you don't use that, you can offer them a money back guarantee on their products. If you buy our coaching service, whatever money you put in, you are guaranteed to make back through real estate deals and we will not stop working with you until you make that money back. Another thing you can give them is a cancellation period. You buy our product and you get it and you read through it and you're not satisfied with it within 10 days, you aren't getting results, you aren't getting the type of education you're looking for, you can send it back within 10 days and we will give you all of your money back. Another one is some key phrases and promises that you can say to them. I'm gonna do a direct reference out of The Closed Seven Level Selling by Stefan Arneo, stefanarneo.com forward slash The Closed Seven Level Selling. In this book, some key phrases it gives you is, I'll hold your hand every step of the way. Why don't we do this? We'll walk through it together. I'll hold your hand every step of the way, man. We pride ourselves on a long-term relationship. This is just the beginning of a long and prosperous relationship between you and our team and our network. We have world-class customer service. 
These are key phrases that catches the buyer's attention while decreasing the negatives and increasing those positives for them. Another move you can make is reversing the parallel movies, and this is pretty much what we've been talking about the whole time. You need to understand at all times during your sales call, they are having these two things playing through their head. They're hearing the positives, but they also have their own negatives that they brought with them to the call. You need to understand that you need to decrease these while increasing these if you want to close them. They're not going to buy it if their negatives are still outweighing their positives. You have to reverse their parallel movies. I actually don't know why this is a step. I think this should go along with all of these. While you're giving these, you should also be doing this. And while you're doing those, this will be a symptom of all of this. So when it comes to action thresholds, an action threshold is the point at which someone makes the unconscious decision to take action. They, they, they might not know that they have an action threshold, but this is when maybe you hit them with a key phrase and that just triggers them unconsciously to decide I'm gonna make this action subconsciously, unconsciously, whatever. And uh, people come in with different levels of action thresholds into every call. So being able to recognize where your prospect is at is also, it goes hand in hand with being able to understand that they're having these movies. It's necessary to be able to realize where your prospect is at with his action threshold. He'll come in on the low side or he'll come in on the high side. You want to be able to lower their action threshold because if you look here, with somebody who has a low action threshold, they'll only need to be at a seven with you, an eight, let's say with your offer, and another seven with the company or vice versa, whatever way you wanna put these, they just need to be at a seven, eight, and seven if they have a low action threshold. Someone who has a high action threshold, you're gonna need to get them up to tens on every single one. Now, this clearly is a lot more difficult than getting someone to a seven, eight, and seven. So if you can realize that they're at a low action threshold, even better, it should be easier for you to close them, follow the steps, maybe even try to lower it more so they're at six, seven, and a six. If they come in high, you need to be able to see that. So after you're doing your rebuttals, you're, you're running them through the loops, you can lower these tens into sevens, eight and sevens and all of a sudden that person who had a, a high action threshold they're at a low one and they're much more likely to take action and they didn't even know that you just lowered their action threshold they didn't even know you're running all these tricks they didn't even know they had a positive or a negative or, or yeah they didn't even know they had an action threshold they didn't even know that their positive movies and their negative movies are actually what their action threshold is going through their head so to cap it up you need to be able to understand every single prospect has an action threshold and they come in at different levels. You need to be able to see that, you need to be able to lower them, and you need to get these strategies dialed in so you can do that with ease on every single call, close every goddamn person in this freaking world. Sales training with Spence. Four five.